In this video, we're going to have a look at a couple of different ways that you can make sure that your dates are sorted in chronological order. I'm going to show you how you can make sure that your years and months are sorted. And I'm also going to show you how you can sort your fiscal years or fiscal months into chronological order using custom order. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So creating your own centralized calendar table is one of the best practices that I preach in my channel. It's something that I covered extensively across multiple videos. However, you'll find that when you create your own calendar table, some of the dimensions within your calendar table won't really sort chronologically, like months, for example. And in this video, we're going to have a look at how you can make sure that they are always sorted chronologically. So here's a report that I prepared for you today. There's two tables in this report. Both are calendar tables. We have the DAX calendar table, which is created using DAX. And then we have a Power Query calendar table created in Power Query. Both of these calendars have a range of uh, 2022 until the end of 2023. Normally, you'd only have one of these tables. But for this demo purposes, I want to show you how you can fix your dates to sort chronologically, regardless if you're using a DAX or Power Query table. So let's take an example here. So let's bring in the date column from our DAX calendar table. So you can see that as we click the dates column header here, it sorts our dates chronologically. So from the 1st of January, and if we do the descending, it will sort it from the 31st of December. So that seems to be working just fine. And that's because this field is recognized by Power BI as a date field. So it means that it knows, Power BI knows that this field needs to be sorted as date chronologically. Now, the clue is by checking the data type of your column. So if we highlight the date here, which is what we're using on the table here, if you look on the top right, it says date uh, as its data type. That means that it knows that it needs to be sorted as dates. Let's do something else though. Let's delete this table. Let's bring in year. You can see that again, it's being sorted as uh, 2022 to 2023, not because these columns are dates, but that's because these columns are recognized as numbers. So you can see as I select year here, you can see that the data type is number. Now, numbers obviously are pretty easy to sort. And for year, for example, it just follows the numerical chronology of year, which makes it basically correct. The problem comes if we bring in month. If we bring in month here and we try to sort it, you'll see that it sorts these months, not chronologically, but alphabetically. So you'll know this obviously because we have A's at the top and then S at the bottom, which is not really what we want. It becomes even messier if we add, let's say, year, which absolutely doesn't give us the chronological sorting that we're looking for. So let's have a look at resolving this issue first. So the quickest way that you can resolve this without writing any code is by creating what's called the grouping bins. And you can do it pretty quickly here in the report view. So let's go to Power Query first, and let me just delete this table. Under Power Query, let's right click the dates field here. And then you'll have this option, new group. Now, if you click new group from here, it will ask you to adjust what bin sizes are for your grouping, which will leave to one month. And then we'll leave everything as it is and we'll change the name here to year month. If you hit OK. And now let's drag that table into our report here. And now you can see that our year month is showing the year, the month and the year, but it's also being sorted chronologically. Now, how does that work? So what the grouping does is it creates a group of every single date for every single month in each line. So we we adjusted the size of the bins. And what it's done is it's preserved the data type of uh, dates in this grouping. So which means that if I select year month here and you pay attention to the top left here, it knows that this field is a date field, which means that it knows, Power BI knows that this needs to be sorted in a chronological order, which is why it's able to recognize January 2022 should be at the top as opposed to being somewhere in the middle. 
Now, regardless if you're using Power Query or DAX, you can use this same grouping solution if you want. So I'm gonna just try to quickly do that in DAX. So right click, new group. We're gonna name this one year month as well. And we'll leave the bin size to one month. If you hit okay. So same thing as before, if we create a new table, it knows that this field needs to be sorted chronologically. Pretty easy. Now let's say, and I'm just gonna delete this and let's say we'll bring in the month name from Power Query here. And let's say we don't want to see year months. We just want to sort our months chronologically. Now to sort these months, we will have to take a different approach. We need to use what we call a custom sort, which is essentially a way to manually override the sorting order of a column. And it's a neat trick that allows you to sort any fields to whatever you like, which I covered in a separate video if you're interested. But we're going to go through it now so that you can see how it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Power Query by hitting transform and uh, we're going to edit the Power Query formula here so that we can sort our months. Now you'll see that because months are typed as text, we can't really sort it traditionally like we did with the grouping. So what we're going to do um, is we're going to simply highlight the date field here. Then under add columns, we're going to go to date and then month. And then we're going to just select here month. What it does is it creates a column that allows us to sort our months to a chronological order. So January's will be ones and then February's will be twos. So if I scroll down, you'll see February will be two. So it's just the numerical value of those months, except in a number form so that we can sort them. So we're going to use this to control the sorting order of the month names. So now that we have imported that month numbers, we're going to hit close and apply. So that will just simply add a new column here for us, month. And then as we highlight the month name on the ribbon at the top, you will see this option sorts by column. So instead of sorting it by month name, we'll select the month here, which is what we've just created. So what it does is it now recognizes that the month names needs to be sorted based on the numerical values that we have on these month numbers. So if I just show you how that looks like, and I'm just going to remove this summarization there you will see that January is at the top because the month number of it is one and then December is 12 because it's at the end. So that's how we use custom sorts to make sure that our month names are sorted chronologically. For DAX, we will follow the same exact formula. We'll apply the same solution in DAX, albeit in a sort of DAX format. So we will just generate the month numbers, but not with a UI like we did in Power Query. So I'm going to go back to DAX calendar here. So here is the set of DAX code that we use to generate our calendar. We're going to create a new column field combination here. I'm going to name it a month order. And then here, the function that you need is month, which will just return a number from 1 to 12, as you can see here. We just need to give it the date, which is the date here, like this. So now that we have done that, I'm just going to show you how that looks like here on our table. So same thing as before, it just created a month numbers for each of those months. So ones, twos, depending on those months, um, we'll go and select the month here. Again, sort by column, month order. And then if you drag that now into a table, it will sort automatically by chronological order. Now that you know how custom sort works, let's have a look at something a little bit more advanced. So let's say you want to sort your months based on your fiscal months. So here in the UK, for example, it's very common for your fiscal year to start or your fiscal months to start in February and end in January. So in our list here, we want the February to be at the top and then January to be at the bottom. Now, how would we do that? So it's it's pretty simple, really. The only thing that you need to do is play around with the sorting order to customize it based on what you like. So for example, if we look at the table that we've just generated here in Power Query, the only reason why January is at the top is because the month number here is the lowest number in its ordering system. But if we say have the February number to be the lowest, that will be at the top and then whatever the highest value is will be at the bottom. So I'm not sure if that makes sense. So let me change the values and let me show you how that affects the sorting order here. So I'm going to go and hit transform data once more to open up Power Query. 
and we're going to create a new column here. So add column, custom column. Uh, well, actually, no, let's let's not do custom column. Let's create conditional column here to make it simple. But what I'm going to do is going to check if the month number is equals to one. So if it's equals to one, which we mean is January, because all we want to do is put January at the very end. So we're going to say if it's January, then make it 13. So 13 months means that it will be at the very bottom of our list. Else, we want to choose and just give me the month. And we're going to name this month order. So if I hit OK there, you'll see that it's a little bit different from our month here because January is now the 13 and February is still two. March is still three. Now, it doesn't really matter if you have no one as long as your sorting order or the lowest number that you have is what you want to is what is at the top. So let me show you how this looks like. So I'm going to just change it quickly into a whole number as a date type, then home, close and apply. So what you need to do to make sure that this table is sorted by fiscal order is by making sure that it's selected then select the month name, which we want to sort, then sort by column and change that from month to month order. And then there you go. So you can see that now our months are sorted by fiscal months, starting from February and ending in January. For DAX, we will do basically the exact same thing, but obviously having to write our DAX code ourselves. So we're going to go back to our calendar here, not create a new column, but I'm just going to modify this uh, column that we have here. And I'm going to say, I'm going to wrap it with an if statement. Just going to copy this first. And I'll say if the month date is equals to one, then I want to make it 13. Else, I want to just give me the month. So because it's already using the sorting order, the month order, you'll see that it will automatically just adjust to start on our fiscal month, February. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to make sure that your dates or the different fields within your calendar tables are sorted chronologically. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I'm to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.